So often I'm out and about and I want to listen to YouTube rather than watch the video. I kind of will just want to download it, run it in the background, listen to it on my headphones rather than having the video up there. And of course the YouTube app uh, closes. You can't listen to it when you, when you turn the lock screen on. So I wanted to be able to share from the YouTube app to a Python script to download that audio. I couldn't find anything particularly great on the, uh, on the Play Store. There are a few things that we need to do this. Um, we need QPython, we need AutoShare, uh, we need uh, Tasker, and we need the QPython uh, plugin for Tasker as well. So YouTube-DL is the program that we really uh, love for this kind of thing. So the way that we go about this is we open up QPython and we want to install YouTube-DL best way to do this is go to QPyPy, there's the pip console, make sure it's downloaded, they've got the tick next to it, click on it, and what you want to just type in here is pip install dash u youtube underscore dl, hit return. I've already installed it on here, so it might come up with an error. Yeah, it's come up with an error, but it, that, that would do it. So once we've got that on the phone, the next thing that we need to do is install the script. So if we click on this button here above sign in, you can see that I've already got the script on there, ytdl.py, it's at the bottom in the middle. Uh, and this script just essentially down, it opens a file and then downloads the YouTube. I'll, I'll let me show it to you here. So if I open it, YTDL, there you go. So we import the YouTube underscore DL, RE and Android helper. Don't worry too much about the Android helper. You can see the next four lines here all commented out because this was just test stuff. So what we do is because the, the tasker plugin uh, from QPython won't accept variables. What we're going to do is write the URL uh, to a, uh, a temporary file, in this case, forward slash SD card YTDL uh, with auto share, uh, with Tasker and auto share, sorry. And then this script will open that file and extract the URL. So there you go, it extracts the URL. Terrible problems with SSL certificates. So just turn on no check certificate and that just sets what we're going to call it afterwards. There you go. And then with the YouTube downloader object, um, we're going to download some info about the um, about the video rather than the video itself. Make sure we've just got a video. Iterate through the formats. If the codec's none, so it's just the audio one. We'll look for uh, the audio codec, uh, audio codec, sorry, with MP4 in it, and that then gives us the format ID pass that through into a new YouTube download object uh, under format. We don't want a playlist, no check certificate because the SSL certificate nightmares. And then we open up the object and download the URL. So that object that that variable there URL has come from up here. So pretty simple. And I'll put a link to that script uh, in the comments. So once we've got that, the next thing that we need to do is to go to Tasker, and in this case, the profile is auto share command copy sender. Uh, don't worry about the remote one, I'll do that in a separate video. So essentially what happens is auto share, when you share from YouTube app to auto share, it will then pass that onto Tasker, uh, basically copying, pasting everything into Tasker, uh, under a set of variables. So let me show you how you do that. So we push the plus key down at the bottom to make a new profile. Uh, click state, plug in, auto share, go to configuration, hit this little pen type icon, and let's just call it command, add command, copy, like so. And that's pretty much it. So there you go, it's going to copy the sender, the subject, the text, the file, everything. And then these these four variables that it will pass to, to Tasker. The, the important one is as text, share text at the bottom. 
So we go back there. Next stage, we want to uh, run a task after we've received that. Don't worry about giving that task a name. Add an action. Uh, now, what we want to do is write that temporary file. So file, write file, and ytdl. So that's, that's what I've just called it uh, in SD card, forward slash SD card, ytdl. The text bit here, what we want to do is push this little uh, gray right facing arrow uh, on the right hand side of the screen next to the text. And we want auto share as text. So the shared text, because that's the URL. So that's the first task. So it will essentially take that URL from the YouTube and write it into uh, the temporary file YTDL. Then we want to run that script. So press the plus key, go to plugin, uh, QPy plugin, and hit this configuration edit button, top right of the screen. And there it is, ytdl.py. Select that, go back, go back, go back, and there it is. So compare that to the top one. They get auto share command, copy sender all, auto share command, copy sender all. In this case, I also, um, it's it, this one flashes downloading sent as text. So there we go. Let's get rid of this, this one that I've just done. So we're going to use this one. Uh, let me just show you the uh, what it writes. So if I go down to SD card here, and that's what it opens. So that's the YouTube. So let me show you it in action. So let's get back onto YouTube. So I want to know how a petroleum distillate heater works. This is oh, he's very got a good voice, hasn't he? It's a little really uh, thing with a tap on the bottom that goes like that. Great. And basically speaking, you fill this up. It. Yeah, I want to listen to this later. So we hit this arrow at the top. Down to auto share command, which is in the middle on the left hand side. There's only one command using it automatically. So it's going to flash up there, toast it, what it's doing, uh, flashes it up, what we're downloading, and then you can see the script running in the background. And there we go, it's all done. Now if we go back to our file explorer, SD card Q Python, there it is. How petroleum distillate powered heater works. And our script is in this scripts directory, ytdl.py. I'll just show it works. If I hit play there and play it on Gasoline the powered pocket heaters. Excellent, because I just there want a go. pocket full of petrol. Hope you find this useful. Technically speaking, these, well, these are.